I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Blink. We're back again today with the Smith & Weston M&P 1522, but that isn't really what we're going to be talking about necessarily. What we're going to be talking about is this Caldwell bipod. Now you may remember we put it on the ATI Alpha 15. Um, and I didn't like the way it was matching up with the magazine. Uh, the magazine was way too long for this. This I've got a six to nine inch, and for that one, you actually need the nine to thirteen inch when you're going to have it on that type of a deal. Well, with this one, I have some ten round magazines that I use for the uh, this 22, and we're going to see how it works. But I did have to do some changes. And that's why I'm not too sure how it's going to work. And why did I have to do some changes? Well, and this is something you ought to know about. Because you have the M-lock, which is this, of course, in here with all these little holes. And the M-lock adapter comes with it. However, it won't work with this one. Why won't it work with it? Because, and I'll try to show you this up close. In here... Inside these slots, this actual area in here, well here, you can see it, right there. See that? See how thick it is? Okay, that's how thick it is inside of there. Because of that, that adapter would not work. And there's just no way you could get those things to come around and have them lock, at least not securely. You might get one, you wouldn't get the other. So I had to take that adapter off and use it like it comes, just like this. Uh, yeah, I think you can see right here, uh, down in here, you just had to have that adapter off. There was no way you were going to lock this thing into place. So, I'm having to step around Pepper here, by the way. Poor little guy, he can't see very well anymore. And can't hear very well either. 14. Um, anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try this. We're going to see how it shoots with this. A little bit better. Again, we're going to, I'm going to tell you about it more. These come out just like that. No problem. You got buttons right up here. And you push on those. But you got to unlock them first. Right up here. You got to unlock it with this. Because this is what locks it. And then here you push the button. And they come out. And then you want to make sure they're locked in place. We'll do the same thing. One of these doesn't work as good as the other one. And this time they both work pretty good I guess. There's still some looseness in it. Uh, you got to make sure they're in the right spot, too, because I have had this where one comes out and locks, and the other one locks, and then all of a sudden it's like this. So, we're going to put this up. We're going to see how it shoots. You can see already that, well, let's extend this. Put this down. Get some of this CCI ammo out of the way. Take that. Put it down like that. And you're clearing, which is good. So, uh... This bipod, if it works, is shooting. We have not shot it yet. Not with this. Um, so we'll see how it works. And if it does, then I'd say the thing, this is going to work good with this as long as you got the shorter magazine. Um, so let's go shoot. Okay, you're back with me here at 25 yards. I've got you zoomed in. We've got uh, five plinking bottles up there and then a six inch gong in behind. Um, and we're going to see how this works. And I, I'm hoping that I got the, I've been juggling around sights a lot and I can't remember exactly what I did on this. So this ought to be interesting to see what happens. We'll put a round in first. And uh, this is CCI Quiet Ammo. And it's the Quiet Auto so that it will work through a semi auto. I know that sounds strange at only 835 feet per second, but it does cycle. It's got a 45 grain bullet. So, anyway, this CCI stuff's worked pretty good. It's just trying to find it is all. And I've had to, by the way, I've had to drop the tripod down some because it's just not quite, well, it was way too tall is what it was. I couldn't use it on the table. So let's see what we can do. Take the safety off here and uh, and I'll do some shooting. to go for the gong. Okay. 
That's it. Okay. We uh, fired them off and had one mess there. I just don't know why. Um, that's just, <laughs> I don't know. I just missed. That's all there was to it. Couldn't have been by far though, because I was sure on to the others, and that bipod does help for that. Well, you can see here that I did shorten this up, like I told you. I went up to here, which is since it's between six and nine, that's well, that's probably about seven, I'd say, in there somewhere. If you, I know it's not the six because I don't have it all the way up, so it's probably even more than that. Probably about, man, probably about seven, something like that. But uh, it seemed like it worked pretty good. Uh, it's still on there. Of course, I mean, 22 is not that much of an oomph to it. But to me, this thing is more for something like this on the 22. It's got, it doesn't have much play right now. This one, uh, maybe a little bit. But I got it locked in a little bit better. So, you know, it might work on the... Uh, Higher powered stuff like a two two three five five six something like that, uh, but um, I don't know. I, I like it on the Smith and Weston 22. It really does seem like it's nice, and I was able to swivel it easy because when I had it down like this course, I was going from target to target, and I didn't pick it up. I just took it and moved it like this, and it moved real easy. Some of them I have found that these don't move too easy. They stick a little bit. But uh, this one didn't do bad. And as far as the shooting goes, I'm going to show you here. This is why I said I'm not sure why that missed. Maybe it was the round of ammo. Because here's where I was hitting. I can always tell where I hit. See the shiny splatter coming out of there? That is where I was shooting. Is right there. Right in the middle. And then the other one, the gong. And this is a freshly painted gong, by the way, as you can tell. See? Nothing on that side, and this was freshly painted. So all of the rounds that hit, they were hitting right about in here, except I got two out here. Now, would it have missed that bottle? Yeah, maybe. But, uh, especially if it shot down like that. But otherwise, I don't quite understand it. Um, but uh, the main thing here was that Caldwell bipod. We wanted to talk about that again. I have now decided that I'm going to keep it on this and maybe get another one and perhaps the same one and try to use it on my GSG 16 because I'd kind of like to have something like that on there and I haven't tried it there and that's got the the M lock 2 system but it's a little bit different because there's there's rails you can put on there and I just might put the rail back on the bottom and then do it because the rails are screwed on. They don't use the M-Lock system, even though the M-Lock's there. I'll just have to wait and see. I may take this off and try it on that one just to see what it does before I get another one. But I'm not going to badmouth this thing. It it worked pretty good. Again, it's into you unlock it like that. Just like I said, you got this little button right here. You push in on it, and then you put those up. Make sure they're up there. Unlock, push and then put it in and then they just fold up like that that's all there is to it so not too bad i think i got it for i'll well, see now it didn't you do have to watch this though don't always go down there that now it did and then make sure you push them down and lock them into place that's another thing they will snap into place for storage uh or in transport they i got them like i said uh, I think I got this set for like $34, something like that, off of uh, Sportsman's Guide. And uh, I just wanted a bipod to try out on these. And I actually wanted it for the ATI Alpha 15, but uh, I'm not going to use it on here. I've got a few other problems. So, and we'll be talking about that later. Anyhow, that will be an entirely different video. And right now we're just talking about this Caldwell, and it seems like this Caldwell. Uh, bipod is going to work perfectly for this Smith & Weston M&P 1522. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of blanking.